Welcome friends to the new camera.com channel. Now in this video I will be talking about the things I really like, the set of improvements I like and the things that I really don't like in the new camera. So let's begin with the positive things that I really like about the new 1DX Mark III camera. The autofocus system of the camera is vastly improved compared to its predecessor. If we talk about the phase AF sensor, if we talk about the new AF algorithms inside the camera improve itself as you shoot more with the camera. The camera also features 5x more buffer memory compared to its predecessor. Now with the 1DX Mark III camera you can record 1000 frames of RAW without any interruptions in a single brush mode. And not only 1000 frames of RAW you can also shoot 2000 frames of RAW plus JPEG all together in a single row so that's really a great improvement in the buffer part of the camera the continuous shooting speed of the camera is also hugely improved now you can capture 20 frames per second without any issues so in the autofocusing part the 1dx mark 3 camera does arrive with lot of improvements if we talk about the buffer memory if we talk about the new deep learning ai algorithms if we talk about the new phase af sensor inside the camera or if we talk about the new fast af continuous shooting speeds all these things are improved inside the new 1DX Mark III camera. Now let's talk about the sensor of the camera. The things I really don't like in the new 1DX Mark III camera. The old 20MP sensor. It's, it's the old 20MP sensor again used in the new 1DX Mark III camera. It is redesigned. Yeah, it is redesigned for better AF performance. But more or less you will be getting the same image quality in the new camera. So if you are already a old owner of 1DX Mark II camera and if you are thinking for an upgrade for a better image quality for a better dynamic range for a better low light performance you will be disappointed there are a lot of professional photographers those who are waited four plus years for a new camera for a new sensor for a new AF system but again you have used the same 20 MP sensor in the new 1DX Mark III flagship camera so from the set of upgrades it looks like the only thing we are getting in the new camera in the still photography zone is the speed is the better AF system is the better buffer and if you are a sports shooter then yeah it's a great upgrade for you but if you are someone who shoots landscape wildlife photography nature photography or even photography this is not upgrade for you do not spend five thousand plus dollars in a camera that will give you same image quality you have in its predecessor now let's talk about the video part of the camera in the video part of the camera we do have some significant set of improvements the camera now does full sensor readout you can record 5.4k raw videos with the camera but unfortunately in the raw video modes you do not have dpf support and even when you are shooting 4k videos at 60 frames per second you are not having dpf support at that time but when you are shooting 4k videos at 24 frames per second 30 frames per second or full HD videos you do have the DPF support so if you are shooting the raw video files in the camera you don't have the DPF support either you are shooting full HD or ultra HD or DCI 4k whatever in the raw video mode of the camera you don't get DPF support so it's a force limitation against and I'm really disappointed to see that Canon is putting force limitation in their flagship camera body. People are spending more than $5,000 to get this particular camera and they have to face force limitation from Canon. So 1DX Mark III camera is actually a mixed bag of improvements. Canon is still on its DSLR cannibalization mode and for sure I do believe that the upcoming USR professional camera will have far more better core specification than the new 1DS Mark III camera. It's only made for sports shooter. If you belong to a different owner, this camera is not made for you. So it's better to wait for a USR professional camera instead of spending a huge amount of money in the new 1DS Mark III camera. That's all I have to say for the 1DS Mark III camera. We'll see you soon. Thank you for watching this video.